Hey guys, a very warm welcome to Arihant Online Academy. In this video lecture, we will start DBMS. It's a very first lecture, introduction lecture for the subject, and we will discuss from very start, very scratch topic, so that for every kind of learner, whether he or she is preparing for GATE, NET, ISRO, BAG, IT office, or any kind of engineering courses in computer science or IT, right? So it will be very useful to you. Just subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon button so that in the series of these lectures you can't miss any of the important lecture from our side. In meanwhile, this lecture we will also provide you important job alerts, notifications, current affairs, important exams, theoretical points, PDFs, etc. All right. So just subscribe our YouTube channel and press the bell icon button so that you can get a huge advantage from our side. Right. So. Now let's start the topic DBMS right so why we are learning DBMS basically DBMS is database management system right and database is collection of related data if you have asked or you are asked from anyone that what is database then the simplest answer would be that the, it is the collection of related data right so the related data collection is called as database the data might be set of a student information of any school, college, university. It might be the bank details of all customers which con uh, consist, the, consist of the all kind of details of their bank, IFSC code, bank account number, their loan amount and all kind of data, right? It might be the list of articles, news, document, etc. Right? So all the collection of related data is called as database. Now, the basic concept of database, it is basically the interface between user and database file. Here, suppose database files are there. Here, lots of database files are there. Now, how user will access these database files very efficiently? So, for that, DBMS came into picture. With the help of DBMS, that data management system, it will help out to sort the required file from the database file system or the storage and it will classify and uh, it will obtain that file and it will give or provide to the user so this is the basic concept of dbms database management system now before dbms there is a concept of flat file system let's get understand this what is flat file system what are its limitations and how the limitations can be solved using any important problem solving skills right so let's see flat file system is database files without dbms now suppose you are having lots of files lots of files without any database management system so that kind of database which doesn't have any management system is called as flat file system means in operating system the files are simply put it. Now, if the size of that file storage is small, then it can be used for your purpose. But suppose this file storage is very, very large. There are number of billions of files. Then it will fail to use flat file system. Why? Because of these limitations. Let's see. The very first limitation of the flat file system is difficult to access required data. Suppose there are billions of files, then it will be very difficult to access the required data because in sorting, in getting, in accessing the required data file, it will get lot of time. It will waste huge memory, huge cost will be there. That is why it is very difficult to access the required data from that kind of system. Now, in lots of billions of files suppose are there, then to move input output cost required to be retrieved. Because every time if you are asked to retrieve the file which is in the mid while of the billions of data then it will cost, it will totally cost or totally waste the amount to access the data as well as your time also. That is why we can say that more input output cost required to be retrieved. Less degree of concurrency. I mean suppose multiple users are there and they want simultaneous access to the same database then the degree of concurrency is very less it might fail right that is why we can't be survive in computer system with flat file system the next is difficult to implement different level of access control now there are very diffi different level of access controls are there physical control logical control and many because any file system in a storage con con uh, consists of 
फाइल नेम स्टोरेज लोकेशन फाइल टाइप स्टोरेज लोकेशन राइट दिस डिस्क सिस्टम इन विच डिस्क प्लेस सो दिस ऑल काइंड इस सिस्टम शुड बी देयर नाउ इफ देर इज नॉट एनी ऑफ द सिस्टम देयर एंड सपोज ओनली फाइल्स आर पुटेड इन द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम देन इट विल बी वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू इम्प्लीमेंट डिफरेंट लेवल ऑफ एक्सेस कंट्रोल सो ड्यू टू दिस लिमिटेशन वी कॉन्ट यूज फ्लैट फाइल सिस्टम सो वॉट इज द सोल्यूशन देन द सोल्यूशन इज डी बी एम एस डेट इज डेटा बेस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम इट इज द सोल्यूशन फॉर गेटिंग ऑल द लिमिटेशन सॉल्विंग यूजिंग डी बी एम एस हाउ द वेरी फर्स्ट इज डेटा इंडिपेंडेंसी इन डेटा बेस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम डेटा बेस स्टोरेज मेंटेन्स डिटेल्स राइट इट विल मेंटेनेंस ऑल द डिटेल इट विल मेंटेन ऑल डिटेल्स सपोज यूजर इज देयर डेटा बेस फाइल्स आर देयर देन फिजिकल लेवल इज कनेक्टेड विद डेटा बेस फाइल्स फिजिकल लेवल इज कॉन्सेप्चुअल लेवल आर कनेक्टेड एंड कॉन्सेप्चुअल लेवल फर्दर कनेक्टेड टू द यूजर राइट नाउ सपोज यूजर इज आस्किंग फॉर एनी डेटा बेस फाइल देन डेटा बेस फाइल स्टोरेज डेटा बेस फाइल स्टोरेज इट कंटेन्स ऑल द डिटेल्स इट कंटेन्स ऑल द डिटेल्स डेटा बेस फाइल स्टोरेज इट कंटेन्स ऑल द डिटेल ऑफ द डेटा बेस फाइल्स नाउ हियर कॉन्सेप्चुअल लेवल इज देयर एंड हियर फिजिकल लेवल इज देयर सो फिजिकल लेवल बेसिकली इट कंसिस डेटा अबाउट डेटा फाइल्स इट कलेक्ट डेटा अबाउट इट कलेक्ट इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ डेटा अबाउट दिस डेटा बेस फाइल्स एंड देन कॉन्सेप्चुअल लेवल्स आर देयर वॉट डेटा इज एग्जिस्ट इन द डेटा बेस फाइल वॉट डेटा वॉट टाइप ऑफ डेटा इज कंसिस्ट इन द डेटा बेस फाइल्स इज कलेक्टेड बाय द कॉन्सेप्चुअल लेवल सो कंप्लीटली टूगेदर विथ दे आर मेंटेनिंग फाइल स्ट्रक्चर्स ऑफ द डी बी एम एस सो इफ दे आर मेंटेनिंग फाइल स्ट्रक्चर्स देन इट विल बी वेरी इजी टू प्रोवाइड द रिक्वायर्ड डेटा टू द यूजर बिकॉज दे हैव फाइल स्ट्रक्चर्स रिक्वायर्ड फाइल कैन बी प्रोवाइडेड इन विद इन टाइम विथ लेस कॉस्ट रेदर देन दैट फ्लैट फाइल सिस्टम सो दिस इज डेटा इंडिपेंडेंसी राइट नाउ द सेकेंड सोल्यूशन फॉर दैट प्रॉब्लम इज इंडेक्सिंग वाट इज वाट इज इंडेक्सिंग सपोज इन फ्लैट फाइल सिस्टम फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू आर हैविंग वन थाउजेंड फाइल्स ऑनली and suppose you are you have to access 300 number file from that uh, group right or you can say that from the conglomeration of this files you are you want to access the number 300 file so you will get access one by one because you are using flat file system then the total cost that will be occur there will be 300 in terms of any unit but if you are having indexing if you are using indexing in the database management system then suppose you are using indexing of 10 files in 10 files are consisting in a block again 10 files means 1 to 10 here 11 to 20 21 to 30 likewise there then you are visiting here one you will make ahead directly 11 until and unless you will reach 300 suppose you are reaching 291 it will be 30th cost so you will again move to next it will be 301 so you will again get back this block you will access in the cost of only 31 so how much difference is getting exactly if you will see 100% in the system of 1000 file now imagine what if these files are in number of billions of files then how much time will be saved so the indexing concept is there so this will solve the problem or the limitation problem of that flat file system the next is concurrent execution in flat file system the degree of concurrency is very less means the number of users can get access to the data at the same time is very less but in our this system in dpms simultaneous access more than one user more than two user can access to the same data at the same time so concurrent execution is there so these are some of the solutions so that dbms is surviving better than flat file system in computer organization in computer systems right so we are learning dbms now i think you have understood that why we are learning dbms what is the concept of dbms it is very basic part we will however discuss each and every topic up in our upcoming lectures 
uh, in very detail but for beginners for understanding the concept of database we are discussing it right so i hope you have understood all the topic in our next lecture we will learn about the basic concept of rdbms that is relational database management system and with code rules right so uh, i hope you have understood this further if you have any kind of doubts or uh, any kind of queries uh, you can ask us and we will try to provide you solution of there on our social web pages right so the link of social web pages is given in the description you can join us there you comment your problem here we'll solve your solution there or we can also solve your uh, problems in our upcoming lectures so don't forget to subscribe and please press the bell like button icon so that whenever we'll upload next lectures and important update for you you will get them easily and you will get notified every time right thank you so much guys have a nice day jai hind jai bharat